An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we need those who are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your own adult style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. Let's take a ride on the magic school bus back in time to 2004 when things were conducted primarily on old school telephone systems, Telnet VBSs, IRC chat rooms, on TeamSpeak, and using Shoutcast radio servers. A time before Blog Talk Radio, a time before YouTube, a time before Facebook and Twitter. Before Skype, before Google Hangouts, before smartphones, before Angry Birds and Farmville. A time when a wall was something you had four of in your bedroom, and a feed was dinner at your in-laws. A time before all of the things we take for granted today. Let's travel back to the four episodes of the Pointless Audio Radio Show on Osprey Radio. A show that was an act of civil disobedience against our would-be corporate overlords, where we trolled the corporations to reveal their corruption and incompetence, and had fun doing it. A time before my early balding set in fully, I actually had some hair to speak of. You are about to hear a series of prank calls, comedy skits, mega mixes, and more. Before we occupied everything, back in the days when we truly were all anonymous, when channeling wasn't well known, quantum physics was a word you only heard on Star Trek, and New Age was merely a reference to something that happened in the 60s. Warning. Views and opinions in this or any show are not the views and opinions of Osprey Network. We at Osprey Networks are not responsible for said content of this or any show. Thank you. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now. Wrong with you, man? Get the other record. Damn. <laughs> 
motherfucking goddamn degenerate fucking cunt! If your toothpaste doesn't taste great, your kids don't brush long enough, which could lead to ugly tartar buildup. The solution? Regular checkups and brushing with new crust, the tartar control toothpaste laced with crack cocaine. Hey, son, almost done in there? Brushing, get back, brushing. Crust is not only clinically proven, it's also highly addictive. So your kids will brush and brush and brush. And brush and brush and brush. Come on, Billy, it's been 45 minutes. Brushing, 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 brushing. If you're not careful, you're going to wear those teeth down to little nubbin. Oh, God, no. What's wrong, son? Almost out of crust. Hook your kids on a healthy habit for life. Brushing with new crust with crack cocaine. Sure, I'm going to be late for work now, but it's good to see Billy brushing. Get out, old man. This is a carjacking. Billy, what are you doing? I sit out. Oh. Billy, where are you going? Got us all the car to get more crust! New crust toothpaste laced with crack cocaine. Recommended by 9 out of 10 drug addicts. 6429. And say nothing about Osprey or nothing about me. And and because they know me. Uh, for everybody at home, this is P-Man's prank call show here on Osprey Networks. This is funny as hell. Franken, the Okay. Thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For the operator... Do you have a buddy that wants to join the KKK and I'll break out the Kermit the Frog stuff? You've reached the answering service for the IKA Knights of the KKK. Please say your name after the tone. Press the pound key after you finish recording. Hello, Kermit the Frog. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for the IKA Knights of the KKK. No one is available to take your call. At the tone for the oh, recording, you, 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 you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. Hi, old Kermit the Frog here. Um, I was uh, referred to your number by by um, Big Bird and Elmo. Um, not very many people know this, but they are very much um, um, very much loyal members uh, to your to your group. Um, I heard that this was a, a very uh, well organized group of a bunch of uh, um, racist motherfuckers and overall ingrates. And um, I, I think I, I qualify as one of those as well. I mean, yeah, you know, you see me on Sesame Street doing the, uh, the kids show, but I, I think those kids are, are a bunch of little punk-ass bitches anyway, and they're just going to be growing up to smoke crack. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to kind of get into a new uh, profession, so, you know, if we can go, uh, go go beat down some motherfuckers, preferably starting with you, um, that would be great. Um, please give me a call back at um, 1-888-FUCK-YOU. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs> Press two to send. Press three. three. Review. To send. Urgent. Press four. Please enter your selection. Hey, well, good to see you. Um, I was uh, referred to your number by by um uh, Bert and Elmo. Um, not very many people know this, but they are very much um um very much loyal members uh, to your to your group. Um, I heard that this was a a very uh well organized group of a bunch of uh, um racist motherfuckers and overall ingrates. And um I, I think I, I clarify as one of those as well. I mean, I think I'm pretty interested in the kitchen, but I, I think those kids are a bunch of little punk ass bitches anyway, and they're just going to be growing up and smoke back. So you know, I, I'd like to kind of get into a new uh, profession. So you know, if we can go uh, go go beat down some motherfuckers, preferably starting with you. To listen to your message, press 1. To erase message sent. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to work on this. I need to figure out a way to tie the phone into my speaker. Thank you, thank you. Take a bow. That is freaking awesome. And actually, I do know of a way, and um, Eli kind of kind of enlightened me as as to as to the way to uh, to do this.
basically, he was um, saying, I'll, I'll, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I know a way. Um, go into the settings, and you can mute your microphone, so that it doesn't come at your speakers. Because I have... Because I have... Hang on, hang on, hang on. You click the little speaker thing on your test track and mute your microphone. Hit the mute button on your microphone, and then it should work, and we shouldn't echo. All right, how's this? That's perfect, and I cannot hear myself speaking. Hold down your button and let us talk for a minute. All right, just talk. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 we're still going to echo. Oh, okay. Anyway, I was trying. What I was trying to say, I know of a way, and Eli kind of gave me this idea. Originally, you, Eli was saying that you know you take like a phone that you don't want to use, you know, open up the handpiece, and and pretty much like you know redirect the wires. One for the uh, the speaker and the mic. One goes into uh, uh, basically uh, the, uh, the the mic uh, uh, line in. I think your microphone goes to a uh, mic in, and then you know where you would uh, you know hear the person. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, the problem with man well, the, problem, the problem the uh, problem with what you said, Dave, is that TeamSpeak don't pick up the line in. Pick up the line. I know. I know the problem, but I was I was getting to the solution. Um, basically, instead of doing it through that way, obviously, you know, it's gonna like you know feedback and echo all over the place like what it's doing now. So instead of regular you know PC speakers, um, you know, obviously use use headphones, and obviously the speakers on the phone itself that you're tying off of helps the feedback. So instead, keep track of uh, what wires go to what off of the actual main cord. Get the physical phone all together, all together splice the cord itself, and feed it in that way so that you don't have the, uh, the physical, you know, handset part of the phone with the speakers feeding all this crap back in. Yeah, okay. I have a, I have a phone somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's probably in a box in storage, so I probably lost it. But I had a phone with a... Uh, speaker out and a mic out jack, which was kind of cool. Testing, I didn't echo. Hmm. Here, let me find you. You might have it. Hey, do that dial tone again, and we'll all speak and see if we echo back into it. Well, one of us speak. Well, uh, well, I'm doing a new toy here. I have headphones set up to my speakers going into the microphone of the, of the, uh, of the speaker phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, another number, another okay. Number. Yeah, play that dial tone. Test, 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 test. Woohoo! No echo! Yeah, but I don't know if it's recording. More recording. While the next tell subscriber you were trying to reach is located. Yeah, but the matter is if they can hear us on the phone. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, I know. I was explaining to them. Come on! You got my damn voicemail. I'm getting the earthling. I'm being transferred to an automated voicemail system. How you doing? You've reached Paul Pelletier at Tune Man Computers. I'm sorry I'm not in the office right now, but please leave a voicemail and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as possible. If this phone call is for tuning in entertainment, also, please, just leave a voicemail in the general mailbox. Thank you. Oh, my God. Jesus, Sama. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, Mr. Voicemail? Can you hear me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What you did to my country, you son of a bitch. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm going to go now. I am depressed. I'm going to go take some Prozac. Goodbye. To send a numeric page, press 1. To leave a voice message, press 7. And recording at the tone. Oh my god, it is Osama. Oh, you son of a bitch, what you did. Oh my god, I, I am so depressed. I'm going to go take a Prozac. Goodbye. Get the fuck off from my computer. Please enter your password. Welcome to Nextel Voicemail. Please enter the... Fuck you! Or, uh, please enter the... I don't know, I give you... Please enter the... Fuck you, I'm going outside, I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to dial my phone, and then run like a motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to talk to you guys via headphones and computer. Hey, hey, can you give me a dial tone? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. At sign, at sign, at sign. Alright, hang on. I didn't throw pants on. New player. Oh, All right. who the hell guessed one? I don't know. My name is Colonel Lathiff, Commanding Officer, Marine Ground Forces, Squad, Panama Bay, Cuba. Oh, Christ. Oh, another one. Get out of my network. I'm going to give you a can of whoop ass, Sergeant. Now drop and give me a party, you son of a bitch. That motherfucker. You don't, you don't know what show you messing with, motherfucker. You know the show you're messing with. I am Mr. Oh, yeah.
Do you know the definition of the word kick? You're about to find out, because Slasher's about to show you the definition of the word kick, motherfucker! I am. Now drop him, didn't he? Get the fuck out of the room. Oh, this dead guy needs to go jack whooping. Come on. Come okay, on, time now, Slasher. Get in the boot. I don't know who... I don't know who this bo who, who this guy is. He hasn't said anything wrong. We attacked him. Well, no, he's one of those wave things. You know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, only it's something something else. No, maybe not. Maybe he's real. Okay, Drew, well, I'm I know, but you can't prove it. I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> oh, yes, he's a cop. I think I shall call Arnold Schwarzenegger and see what he Who is it, Daddy? And, he and what does he do? All right, everybody be quiet. T-Man, give me the data. I'm Detective John Kimber, you idiot. you have reached is not available or no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, hang on, throw it on pants so I can run outside. Yes, don't scare the neighbors. Anyway, yes, everybody, we know now that uh, Toon Man uh, uh, voice chat naked. Oh my god. Keep talking, guys. Okay, guess one, where are you from? Who? You. Denmark. Yeah, you're guess one. You're from where? From Denmark. Denmark. Well, then you're definitely not a U.S. Marine Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Have fun. E3, United States Marines, Corporal. But that's all the information I'm going to give you. Sergeant Hulka is signing out. signing out. And Eli, you're... Player left. Hello? Come on, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Are you outside? Hello? Yes, I'm currently outside speaking on my cell phone to you guys. Oh, my really? God. Really? Hey, now I can do shows for a while, technically. How are you hitting the shit? How are you hitting the side? Remote keyboard or something? On my cell phone. Yeah, but how are you hitting the shit key? How are you hitting the shit key? I'm not. I have it on voice activation. Oh, usually we don't have it on voice activation because that, that cut, you know, that cuts off a little bit, but it seems to be working pretty good, miraculously. Well, considering the microphone is sitting directly on the speakerphone part of this phone, and then the headphones are literally jammed into where the microphone is, this is doing pretty damn good because it sounds decent. Well, that's cool. The headphones connected well, to the cool. microphone. The microphones connect to TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak's connected to the internet, and that's the way we're doing this. That's all great for you. This is two men on remote now. I'm currently outside smoking cigarettes because now I can do this. And this is very magical now because now we've got Osprey through the telephone. So call today. <laughs> 401-473-6562 to speak with two men, and I can route anybody in through this telephone. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> That's true, Eli. That means I can actually tie into like, that voicemail thing, too, while I'm on the phone with you guys via this whole setup. Ooh, I'm liking this. Here's a stupid question, though. How are you getting the other phone to answer automatically and then pipe into TeamSpeak? Well, I have to be, I have to dial my cell phone. That's how, that's how I did it. I dialed my cell phone and then he answered my cell phone. Oh, so uh, your, cell phone uh, has, your cell phone has some sort of auto answer feature? So after like two rings, it answers and then boom, team <laughs> Well, I'm not tied in. Oh, I'm, I'm tied into my house phone. I, I set this whole thing up on my house phone, tying into my house phone through the microphone that's on the speaker that you guys are hearing and the headphones that I have sitting on the microphone so you I can hear you guys. Okay, cool, but my question is, how are you getting your house phone to automatically answer when you call it on your cell? Oh, I haven't done that. Oh, I haven't done that yet. I'm not, I can't, I'm not, I can't do house phone to get pissed. Okay, so who's our next okay. one? But, but the key idea in this whole test was for me to A, smoke, and B, now that we can do clear and calls, I can hear what's going on, and on top of that, you guys can speak into it. Hey, Tune Man, do you have, the key hey, this whole, this whole do you, do you have, do you have a free long distance on your cell phone? On the cell phone, yes. And you can do a three-way call on your cell phone? Yes, we've done it before. Me and Eli have. Ooh. <laughs>
Yeah, so right now I can yeah, so I don't need to be on my cell phone, but technically I can use my cell phone to tie into any other place in the world. Well, we can come to the United States. Well, then we can we can call the RTA, which is the public transportation here for requesting bus instructions. And I've done this before. It was funny. I hope it goes over well the second time because I didn't record it the first time. Hi, well, Kermit D. Frog here. Can you please tell me how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> is it a second thing? What's the number? Ah, uh, shit. I don't know what my heart. Let me look on the web real quick. Although, oh crap, it's not even 24 hours. It's it's almost midnight here. Um, the buses only run mostly during the day, and I highly doubt the RTA is 24 hours. Shit. Oh, uh, then never mind. That's, that's no good then. <laughs> I got it, so I got good memory. Hey, area code 662-842-8422 will get you the uh, time uh, temperature number here in Tupelo, Mississippi, but then it uh, gets you options. You could actually play the movie theater's uh, um, uh, movie list or any other shit you wanted to hear. 662-842-8422. Mr. Lasher, can we talk to anybody? No, you won't talk to anybody. It's just automated, but, uh, you know, I just thought I'd tell you. If you dial, uh, what is it? Uh, I believe it's 1-800-FORD-TRUCK, you get a, uh, um, a porn site. I know who we can call. Hello? Yeah, I know who we can call. Who? 1888 Earthlink. Earthlink uh, technical support. Let's talk to Osama's cousin. Hey, let me go back downstairs and do it on the air so I'd rather than my cell phone. I'm sorry, you were trying to call. 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 I'm sorry, you were tr
as you may be able to solve your problem easily without having to wait for a technical support representative. First, try if shutting off the keyboard button. up your ass. If, if your modem does not have your porno, it's from the electrical yes. wall outlet. Oh, Stick yeah. your fingers oh, in the electrical yeah. wall outlet. Now, turning on your modem oh, first and waiting 15 seconds before turning on your computer. Oh my god. It takes you 15 minutes. seconds to come, bitch. Man, you, you, you suck. This solves the problem. Yes. Second, if the DSL or sync light on your modem on is your not, modem is not maybe no, make sure that your modem make sure that your modem is sure your modem is make sure your brain is engaged device, when using your computer your monitor a halogen lamp a cordless phone or the phone a lithium battery reactor if you a have solar other power device, generator Line, Usually, if you press zero, you go straight to an operator. I applied to all it doesn't work that phones. way. This is the pre-recording, whatever. For Windows, press one. Please hold while we connect you to the next available. Yeah, finally, 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 finally
assholes on my neck. I'm going to adopt it, I do, guys. I will commend you on that one time. I will commend you. What, thank you. What, what was that Eli didn't catch? We hear you talking, and Eli, we see you getting up, but you don't speak it. Hey, Slasher, what do you think? I liked it when I said there was smoke coming out of my computer. <laughs> I don't think she heard that one. Yeah, but what did you think of how I handled it? That was funny. Go ahead, Eli, speak. Oh, me and my friends used to do prank calls all the time. You're keying up, but you're not Eli. talking. So, yeah, I rack. Same shit, you know. <laughs> you're keying up, but you're still not speaking, Eli. Is that better? Yes. Yes, 10-4. Let's call the Raylians. There we go. We oh, yeah, let's call him. Let's call him. Thrasher, <laughs> Thrasher, do me a favor. Yes. You have to send me this recording, yes. like, tonight. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta have that. Yeah, but it's T Man Show. All right, let's call the Raylian. 1 8 6 6 8 9 5 4 2 0 2. And this one's mine. Okay, I was gonna say either you or Thrasher. Hello, you have reached the Raylian movement. If you would like to leave a message, please leave your name and number, and someone will get right back to you. If you want to send a chat, please press start now. Thank you, and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello, you've reached hell. My phone number is h e double 6 6 6 6 Operator, what's the number for 911? Uh, excuse these buffoons. Uh, I, I've just been abducted by aliens, and I need your help. Um, I, they, they r really messed me up, and, and I need, I need your help. help. Can you help me, please? Help. I need to make some help out of this. Please help, God. Please help me. Help, Okay, we'll have to find something else then, huh? <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sierra Tech Support. Sierra, oh, Sierra, wait, Sierra a second. Sierra. wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If there's some sort of 24-hour thing for Walmart, I think Slasher might want to do that. Some office for Walmart. Oh, yeah. All right, let's find Walmart's phone number then. And, and, and I got one, too. We can call it Best Buy and ask for, like, a floppy drive controller. <laughs> No, no, you do that. No, no. no. Ask, for an MFM, dude, ask for an MFM controller. They haven't had those since 8086. For oh, what? Here we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does anybody have a 24 hour Walmart at the, in their state? Uh, uh, I can, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to Walmart.com right? and I'm getting the number. For, for, for Best Buy, ask for an MFM disc controller because they haven't used those since the 8088. T Man, T Man, I got my Walmart. 800 number? No, you said local Walmart. Yeah, yeah you said local. local. Uh, Fuck. Where you at? I'm in Rhode Island, dipshit. Oh, hang on, hang on. I thought you said you got unlimited long distance on that thing. Yeah, Not on his cell phone. phone. Oh, all right. Thank you for calling the Walmart customer, Sam's Club member, and associate partner hotline. If you are a Walmart customer, press or say one. If you are a Walmart... Please listen carefully to the following options for routing your call. For the location for of your routing, nearest Walmart, I Walmart. Express, press or say one. If you are calling about the Walmart private label credit card or the Sam's Club credit card, press or say two. To obtain assistance from our customer service department, press or say three. Say three. One person. Our center, office is currently closed. Asshole. Next to the building. Yeah, total. Uh, hang on, let's find something. 1-800-BEST-BUY. Yeah, I don't think they'll be open. Yeah. Need to find one. I'll go on. Who wants it? Hello? 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 Hello
Diamond Road. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Diamond Road Hill. I mean, Diamond Hill Road. Is that near That's you? That's not 24. That's not 24 hours. Uh, North Alto. Okay, Washington Street. North Attleboro. That's not 24 hours. Well, it says it is. Hartford Avenue. What's the number? Hartford Avenue. 508 9 Six six seven six three three. I'll use flasher. Yeah. Headphones, flash your headphones. Yeah. Walmart security. Yeah. Walmart security? Yeah. Uh, I thought I was calling customer service. No, this is on um, the Walmart Bellingham store. Can I help you with something? Uh, no, thank you. Can you transfer us to customer service? This is um, a Bellingham, a Walmart Bellingham store. They, they're open at 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. Whoa! <laughs> we talk <laughs> security. What's your zip code again? And I'll put in the 24-hour thing to make sure. 02838. 02838? Yeah. All right. There are three stores in your area that, okay. Walmart Supercenter store. Paramount Drive, 508 uh, okay, 508-822-4900. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Bitch, get off the phone. Here's another one. Oh, I got one for us. Guys, how about Stop and Shop? Yeah, okay. Well, here's another Walmart. Uh, Stop and Fuck? That's not local. Three. That's Connecticut. Okay, 401, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Libyan. Yeah, Westerly. <laughs> Yeah, Westerly, yeah. What do I say? Come on, answer the phone. I got one for us. I got one for us. It's the old gas station I used to work at. It's an old co-a-plus. Are you ready for that? Can you repeat yourself? Hello? 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 Good time. Good time. Winston Dintanetin. Winston Dintanetin. It's with ammo! Good and talk. I think the guy hung up on us. Hey, okay, yeah, we, we, we need to yeah, do I got one to one. Yo, 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 guys, guys, guys. Two men is 401 area code locally. Yeah, yeah where that. is it? Uh, AA 24 hour taxi service, 623 Hartford Avenue, <laughs> Providence, Rhode Island. Yep, local. Area code 401. 521. 4200. Eli or Slasher. Go ahead. Okay. Taxi cab bed for a corpse. Do that one. That body to deliver. Can't afford a hearse. So much for 24 hours, huh? What the fuck? Answer! Taxi. Yes, I'd like a ride. I'm at uh, 258 Post Road. We have no taxis available. Uh, okay, can you tell me uh, some other taxi company that I could call? Yeah, you want Warwick, right? Wow, you sound what? hot. Are you in Warwick? Yes. Okay, because we can't come into Warwick. There's four six. Taxi. That's a taxi, honey. Cool, thank you. Uh, what are you wearing, by the way? <laughs> what? what? What do you happen to be wearing? You sound sexy. Mommy, I'm wearing a Scooby Doo shirt. Cool. Bye. I like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Bye. Later, taxi. Erotic taxi cab call. Dial one. Did you get the number yet? <laughs> no, I thought one of y'all would. Oh. God damn it. She sounded like she was already. Right. Taxi cab company. Hold on, did, he, did she say blue cab? I have the white pages thing up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> call her back. I gave her the address for the Walmart. Are you serious? Hello? You guys want to call Wendy's? Look up Wendy's. No, we need to call like some little dinky place. Some little dinky no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Call Wendy's and say, uh, hi man, please speak with Wendy. I heard, I heard she's sexy. <laughs> some, some shit. Call it no, no. no. Call, call, call and ask for Dave Thomas. Yes, I would really oh, like to Dave Thomas. Thomas. I would really like to grab her buns, man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, here we go, ready? Ready. Oh, wait, they'll call, uh, but how do I disable call, uh, caller ID? Star 67, but I don't know if it, I, I think it differs from state to state. It's not. Looks like it works. Um, go ahead, guys. <laughs> well, we're calling. <laughs> Wendy, right? Yes. Hello? Hi, I got a, I got a question. Um, what kind, of, what kind of hamburgers uh, you got over there at Wendy's? I, I heard you got some, uh, some good deals. Uh, we don't have anything right now. We're closed. Oh, really? That's a shame. I was really looking forward to, to grabbing Wendy's buns. I heard they're nice and, and plump and delicious. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go.
Man, man, what? No more wine. See, mine answered. Yours didn't answer. Hey, that that chick at the uh, the um, the uh, taxi cab. That was that was cool. Eli got her to tell tell her tell him what she was wearing. Yep. Let's social engineer someone. <laughs> hey, two minutes. Best taxi service. Best taxi service. Four eight one Chestnut Street. Local I'm to you. I'm not calling it. I'm not calling another tax company. Well, why? No, no. I'm gonna play that game. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a, got a, I got a good one. I got a good one. Corporate taxi and limousine, 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 limousine. No, 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 no. We have a corporate. We have a corporate people. Corporate people. All right, all right. All right. Some of the man. I like it. I like it. In Rhode Island, right? Yeah. Okay. Businesses. Rhode Island. Oh God, I got a good one, but they probably wouldn't be open. Ooh. What's your zip code again? 02838. Write it down. SSI disability in Rhode Island. Post. I don't know if you want to go messing Monday. with the government. Yeah, especially with prank calls. There we go. See, man, we can get the National Weather Service in your area. Weather oh, service dude. in your area. Dude, 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 dude. You know who's really easy to mess with, and this is probably everywhere? Dunkin' Donuts, man. Those guys are idiots. Oh, in this area. Oh, in this area. Then in 7-Eleven, that's 24 hours as well. How about Kent County Memorial Hospital? I won't call a hospital. Call uh, a no, hospital. no, 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 no. Oh, Let's fine. not go there. That, that, No, that's above and beyond mean. No. <laughs> Who are you calling? <laughs> Who are you calling? Welcome to AOL Member Services. For true quality customer service, oh, your call may be monitored or recorded. Welcome to AOL Member Services. To ensure quality customer service, your call may be monitored or recorded. This one's mine. Fortunately, the wait time for certain okay. types of phone support is expected to be more than five minutes. Asshole. Oh, fuck that. Get online. Then you don't have to wait. No, it's not usually And billing like support representatives can usually be reached in less than 15 seconds at keyword live help. Live help. Live help. It's easy and it's secure. If you can't get help. online, or if you're considering canceling your account, please stay on the phone to speak with a representative. And the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just sign on now and go to Keyword Live Help. But as you say, it's you Keyword STF Group. Help you need as fast as possible. I need to find out who you are and why you're calling. Why are you calling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please remember yeah. the following keywords. You can say, sign up, tech support, password. Tech support. Tech support. Tech support. Okay. Are you calling about either installing or upgrading AOL software? No. Yes. No. Okay, let's look up your account so that I can pass the information on to the consultant. The will have to be deleted. Sorry, I didn't understand. Please enter or say your evening telephone number, including the area code, one digit at a time. Thanks. Please tell me just the first three letters or numbers in your screen name. B B S. B B S. Let me make sure we've got the right account. Your screen name is spelled B B S T U N E M A N. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Last question. Which type of computer do you have? A PC or a Mac? PC. Thanks. I'll get a consultant on the line. Please hold. I'm to be connected to the microphone now. That message. Hey, you know what, guys? If it's mail, I can do a pretty good email impersonation over uh, digital recording. I could see if I could get him to like hit on me and. Hello. 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 Hello.
Excellent. Can you get to the sign on screen for me right now? Uh, yep, I'm... All right, and uh, what does it say on the location? Uh, it says uh, new location. It says new location. Yeah. Is there anything else in the drop-down list there? Uh, Ned Benz, I got it. All right, can uh, go ahead and click on the button that says sign on options for me, please? Not on anywhere on the... Um, what version of the software do you have? I've got nine. And at... Think somebody hacked my AOL or something? Oh, I don't think so. Um, I, like I said, I was going to act. Now I'm mid button. You're telling me I should... Well, go ahead and shut it down what you got there, sir, and we're going to try this a little different way here. Okay. This is funny as shit. Are you on a work computer, or is this your computer at home? This is my computer at home. Okay. What happened, but let's get out of that error message there. Okay. And if you go to the, um, can you get to the start button, we'll let you do that. Which version of Windows, by the way? Oh, XP. Windows XP, okay. Yep, All right, and from there, oh, hold on one second. All right. From there, if you go to all programs, you see a America Online folder. All, I don't see an all regular. Is that regular programs? Yeah, it just says programs. And are you sure you're on Windows XP, or is it Windows 2000? Oh, this has... All right, and it just says programs, huh? Okay, it says run, help, work, alert, all right, well, let's go to programs. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Oh, my God. I installed too much stuff on here. Five pages long. All right, we're looking for the one that says America Online. Um... Paul, are you there? I don't see America Online there anywhere, huh? No, not at all. Go back to the uh, icon that you normally use to try to log on to AOL with. Did you say you had cable or DSL? Yeah, I, I have cable. And who's the cable provider? Fox. Okay. All right, let's try to get, get back to the sign-on screen again, and let's see if... Uh, and now the icon. Getting freaky here, guys. I think you're having a problem with your computer, sir, that's not AOL-related. Uh, I think you need to shut it down, restart it, and try it again, and if you're still having a problem, then give us a call back. What, you, what kind of problems did I be having? Here. Things are just dittering on me. This isn't. Oh, well, I don't know, sir, but it's the Windows computer, so I think uh, anything could happen. Why that? Well, it's like a car, sir. If you're driving down the road and the motor stops, then there's obviously something wrong with the motor, right? Oh, yeah. well, same way with a computer. If, if your windows are disappearing and you're getting these Windows error messages and you're having some problems with Windows as an operating system, where did you get the computer, sir? Uh, I bought it at Best Buy. And how old is it? Does it have a warranty? Does it have any uh, maintenance? Well, it's not a year old. It's, uh... But you might still be under warranty. With, uh, I think uh, I would check with those folks to see what kind of warranty you have, sir, because I think you have a problem with Windows. Really? Yes, sir, I do, unfortunately. So do you suggest we switch to Linux? I, I would not try that in the state of that computer this very moment, not with the error messages you're getting. Like I say, I would shut that computer down and restart it if you're still having these problems. Okay, Windows is shutting down. See, those, those are Windows errors, sir, and I would not try to install anything on that computer until you got that to a tech. Really? And if you really? bought that through those folks, you should have some sort of warranty service on that. I just like, Windows I just, like, anyway. and, like put a magnet on it or something and install. I have a copy of that. My brother-in-law. No, sir, I wouldn't do that. I would take that back to the uh, technical people that you purchased it from and let them know you're having some Windows errors and let them try to troubleshoot that. If you try to reinstall the software and you're still getting all those errors, it's not going to help. It's going to install the software incorrectly. Okay, so AOL isn't the one that's causing this? I don't think so, sir. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about that new software that optimizing, that it, it actually causes problems with the Well, you know, you can blame a lot of things on a lot of things, sir. Um, have you loaded anything else lately? Have you... No, all I do is... Things strike in your area lately. A lot of things affect computers. All I do is come home and I go online and... Well, I don't think that's caused your problem in this case, sir. I think somebody packed it. No, sir, I think you're just having a problem with Windows, and Windows is not infallible. If it was, uh, people wouldn't harp at Bill Gates. And I think your Windows is crashing on you pretty severely. But, but it's worked fine until I installed AOL on it, though. That's what gets me. Well, that might just be a, a strange coincidence, sir. All right, then. So I should, I'm a, what, do you know of any good prices that I should, like, they're going to charge me for this or something? I don't know if you have. If it's that new computer, sir, you probably still have maintenance uh, on the computer. You need to check with the manufacturer. Okay. No AOL specified that I can bring it out? No, sir. We don't, uh, we don't do anything like that. We don't have people that are AOL authorized or centers or anything like that. I should have put Linux on this, though, huh? They'll all support Linux? No, sir. I don't think so. So. All right, Dan. I've got to bring this in tomorrow, then. Thank you very much for having a call, sir. Yep, you've been recorded. Have a nice night. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he almost admitted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy almost what admitted, he almost what admitted he he that he was AOL fucking him up. Why couldn't he hear us? Because we just moved the mic so we couldn't hear him. Yeah, I, I moved the uh, headphones so that... Oh, because when he was like, oh, I don't want the... Oh, you're going to see me. Um, what I was trying to say was, I thought he could hear me. I said, well, if you keep being condescending, you're going to see Mina. <laughs>
That's what I was right, trying to say. You know, you know the worst part about that is that guy was an asshole. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. And dude, yeah. dude, he's the only one there, right? That's what he said. Call back in yeah. like um, yeah. call, call back in like ten minutes and say like you talked to tech support and they insisted it's AOL's fault. Tech support was who? With that AOL. AOL. Tell me, tell me, call the twenty four hour oh. Best Buy tech support line. Call him back because he said he's the only one there and say that they're insisting that it's your fault and they expect you to take care of it. You know, AOL. Yeah, that's, that's and then on this one, you get to be the asshole, you know. Look, don't you be condescending with me. All right, now we need to find somebody else to call. The Holiday Inn. I have a Holiday Inn in your area. A Holiday Inn. Uh, that's a possibility. Like, uh, yeah, yeah right? we just need a room for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> somebody, yeah, no, somebody, no, 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 no. no. Call, say, call and say that uh, uh, you would like to uh, run an escort service out of the Holiday Inn. <laughs> I have more than one, actually. I have two of them, so we could do it like two different times, do two different things. Two oh, holidays. Holiday. 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 Sorry, Flasher, can you do me a favor? Yes. Stop this recording, save the file, then restart it, and send me the file. I need my tech support call. Oh, <laughs> one big file. Nothing gets distributed until after the show. Um, Sounds I good to me. want. Good to me. I specifically want my tech support call. I'm not going to put it anywhere. I just want to play it back and hear it. I love that thing. Just mine. That's all I want. I got to respect the man's wishes, though, T time warrior he said he said one big file but I, I i can chop it out for you well yeah that's what that's what i'm saying um i'm just i was making my comments towards toon man uh, not not you guys it's just after this we record all this whatever i want my tech support thing you don't have to give me the rest i just want my tech support call that's cool at least t-man finally does a show i've got to get you guys got to give him credit on this one yes exactly yeah. uh how about the holiday inn i have two different ones what scheme we want to do i think we'd get like room service say we're in like room you know 108 and we'd like to could you please connect me with room service uh, i was calling room service and see if we All can right. get the room service and, and order something Where are they and then there's another one huh? then there's another Where one down they? here that tw could call they're in 401 area code one's in providence and the other one's in one socket ah let's call one socket give me the number 401 Four one seven six nine five thousand. Thank you for calling the Holiday Express. This is Mark. May I help you? Uh, yeah. Hello? Is this, not, um, hello? Hello. Is this, this is room Express. service? Yeah, is this room service? Say? Is this room service? Is this room service? I was trying to call room service. Yeah, well, you called a hotel in Rhode Island. I know. I'm staying in the hotel. Which hotel? The Holiday Inn Express in Moonsocket, Rhode Island. Oh, I'm okay. Staying well, in the this hotel. is the front desk. Oh, well, could you transfer me to, to um, room service, please? We, we don't have room service. Uh, you, huh? Well, I'm just reading the brochure. I have the brochure. It's right, right here on my on my nightstand. Okay. Well, we well, don't have room service either. Oh, Is I was it? just looking for something to eat. Yeah, we don't have a kitchen or a restaurant or anything like that. There isn't like a, a breakfast thing? There's a breakfast bar that opens at 6.30, yes. Oh, so, so there's nothing until 6.30? That's correct. I can't get like a muffin or something? <laughs> Well, if you wanted to come down, I can give you a muffin, sure. Okay, I'll be down in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, dude, call another one and say, yeah, I was wondering if I could uh, uh, set up an escort service in a couple of your hotel rooms. Yeah, I got Slash. another one right here, man. Uh, who, who wanted that one? I'll let this one go to Slasher. All right, Slasher, this one's yours. All right, okay. give it's me the number. 401, yeah, uh, I got the number. 401-831-3900. Permission to set up an escort service, Slasher. I can't do I'm trying to help you. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to know if it'd be all right if I set up an escort service through your hotel. Um, hold on one second. You gotta go ask permission. Hold on, wait. No, you might want to call the Weston. Excuse me. I think she hung up on us, guys. She said you should call the Weston. Calling a dumb bitch. And ask permission to deny us the cunt. Call her back and ask the number to the Weston. Yo, call her back and say. Call her back and say, hey, you sound cute. Want to go out sometime? You can join her escort service. Flash. There's a call to Audi and I'm calling. It says, Marcus, can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hello, may I help you? Yeah. Hello, may I help you? Hello? Uh, yes, I may I help you? Whoa, you sound cute. I wasn't Hello, expecting... Hello, may I help you? Yeah, I wasn't expecting a woman. You sound pretty cute. I'm fine. Well, thank you. I'm not talking about Sabina Warren. I'm sorry. I should have been in here. <laughs> Man, you 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 just totally blew my mind. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, 
Showing up on that one too. <coughs> oh. Oh. All right, no more calling hotels. Oh, oh, I got another Holiday Inn Express on Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick. Long you what? Two men, you. Hey guys, 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 listen, listen. One time on some prank calls, me and my friends did. They called up a, uh, he, we called up a Seven Eleven, and he's like, um, hi, I was in your store the other day, and I, uh, I, I procured um, um, two bags of, uh, of of potato chips and um, and and a, a bottle of RC. And well, uh, the potato chips made me sick, so uh, so I want a refund. All right, well, call Sunoco back. Well, try Sunoco. Sunoco. Well, it, was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious because the, the the Indian dude, whatever, did not realize that he that what procured meant. In other words, stolen. He's like, well, I didn't pay for it. You don't have to pay for things at Seven Eleven, do you? All right, ready? Time. This is well, yours. Over Colin. Over Colin. I have no idea. Uh, hello, are you there? I, I, it's hard to hear you. Hello? Asshole! No, he's clipped! No, he's a dickhead! <laughs> what a jag off. I didn't say anything inside him, I just said it's hard to hear you. I have a BP corporate cleaning in Woonsocket. No. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Can anybody find a uh, 24-hour line? Um, for windows installation, and I mean windows like in your like in your home. And I could say, yeah, you guys got Windows XP? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys are a bunch of fucking liars. You advertise you sell windows, but oh my God, it's like false advertising. <laughs> No, but even better. Find it. Buddy in the moment to call Microsoft Tech Support? Sure. Yeah, oh, sure. Oh, God. Yeah. Microsoft. Like, yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to install Windows and Apple keeps popping up on me. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, Let's call them and I'll do Win 3.1 Tech Problems. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, I'm trying to install Windows 3.11 and I keep getting this thing. Can I find NTDLR? What, what does that mean? <laughs> Uh, I need a fucking phone yeah. number. It says, I, I need three, uh, EM, EMM386 or something. What, what is that? Can you help me with that? Yeah, um, it says I can't find NTDLR and something about a floppy dick not found. I don't completely understand. I'm very new to this kind of thing. I'm trying to install Windows, uh, what version? Uh, uh, 311 for work groups. Yeah, the guy at the store said it was brand new. Yeah, it, 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 it had never been opened. I mean, the wrap was on the box. I did open it myself, so I know. No, it wasn't tampered with. All right, we need a 24-hour computer tech support. Oh God! Hey, I got, I got a what better one too. Trying, how about trying to install Windows on a Commodore 64? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Go for it. Find a place to call. You just said you found a 24-hour tech support for some place or other. No, that's what I said. We need to find. Oh. Hmm. Oh, tech what? Tech 24 online. They want money. Hang on, we don't want to do that one. Ooh, I got it. I got one. 1-800-Doctor. Uh, 1-800-Ask-Doctor. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Um, call up Hewlett Packard, because I once had an experience with them where if uh, the computer is out of warranty, um, they want you, they want to charge like $45 for the call. I called them once. All I wanted was to know what uh, what uh, F key to hit to get into the BIOS, and they wanted 45 bucks to tell me. So, like, you know, say, like, the computer's, like, four years old. Oh, sorry, it's out of warranty. Yeah, well, you know, I just want to know how to, you know, which, after, which key to hit, you know, to get the BIOS. Call on HP. Hang on. Hi, welcome to Best Buy. We've done some fall cleaning. Please listen carefully so we can guide you to the right place. If you want to purchase you clean product, out your product, dummy product please? existing order, press 1 for sale. If you're looking for help with repairs, installations, and deliveries, press 2 for service and support. Or for information about the room. Best Buy service and support. What product can we help you with? If it's a computer issue, press 1. Performance service plan or have a Medion computer, press 1. If you don't have a performance service plan, press 2. If you have a question regarding a performance service plan, press 3. Here are the menu options again. Teamed up with Geek Squad to provide you with the best computer you technical assistance computer available. Right. For computer service from Geek Squad, press 1. To return to the main menu, better service. Starting with the area code, please enter the 10 digit yeah, home telephone right. number associated with your purchase. As bad as Earth, man. You are being transferred to a Geek Squad agent. Your conversation may be a high level of customer service. And if you would like yeah, to report to the Geek Squad agent, please continue to call the representative will be with you shortly. Do you have it? Are you doing it? Hello? This is George. How are you doing? Dad, we're on a, we're on a prank call right now. Be quiet. Don't worry, I have him muted. Good. Player left. Who's doing it? Who's doing this one? You, Commodore 64, Windows. Okay. <laughs> Geek 
Friday. It's Jennifer speaking. How may I help you today? Yes, I'm having a problem installing software. Okay, what type of software are you trying to install? Windows. Windows? Okay. And what is your first and last name? Mark Osprey. Thank you very much, Mark. One moment here, please. And Mark, what is your zip code? Uh, my zip code? Yes. Zero two. Um, you didn't want, yeah. Zero two eight well, three eight. My, my zip code. So we can find out what service options we have available for you here. Oh, okay. It's zero two eight three eight. Thank you very much. I'm a little cautious about getting information out like that. Understandable. Bear with me here a moment. And you're in the Manville area? Yes. Okay. Well, we definitely do provide services to your area. Now, when you're trying to install Windows, what is the problem that you're encountering? It says I need EMM386. I don't know what that is. Okay. And what version of Windows are you attempting to install? Um, I'm not really sure. I, I just come on CD. Is it Windows like 98, Millennium? What does the disk say? 3.11. One? Okay. Yeah. Because unfortunately, that is a ver uh, version of Windows we do not offer assistance with here. We only offer assistance for Windows 95 and higher. But you could take it into one of our Best Buy stores. They would be able to assist you with it, getting it installed. They, they would actually help me install this? Yeah. Just for our phone support and our on-site support, we don't handle Windows 3.1. Can, can you transfer me to someone like that? I just need to know where I can get this, this file. Oh, you can attempt to contact Microsoft. However, their support is not 24 hours. Uh, okay. Well, um, I, I tried looking up. Uh, is there any way I could put 95 on this? Can you help me with that? Well, as long as you have a working copy of a full version of Windows 95. Uh, I think I think so, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Uh, I got a bunch of disks with this computer. Uh, I'm, I'm not real. Have a real Go ahead, ma'am. Because if you have a full copy of Windows 95, we can assist you over the phone for doing the installation for a flat rate of $79.99. That's a, a good deal of money. I didn't pay that much for the computer. And then you may be better off looking into, like, one of our in-store options. They're usually less expensive. Or, you know, possibly, like I said, there's always the option of contacting Microsoft. It's just they're not available 24 hours. But I, I didn't get my computer from Microsoft. Am I, it's not a Microsoft computer. Well, it's running a Windows operating system. That makes Microsoft... Microsoft able to support it, especially Wait, since that error it. you're getting is it, while installing it Microsoft operating system. But it will run on my Commodore, right? Um, theoretically, yes. All right. Um, so, so it will run on my Commodore. I just need to get this file and someone to help me do that, right? And they'll right. do that at Best Buy? Yes, they will. All right. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. You're welcome. And thank you for choosing Geek Squad. No problem. Bye now. Holy fuck, you're going to run on your Commodore. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically. Nice talking to you. This is the best show we do. Sorry. That's we need to be on the show. I'm putting your shows to shame. Okay, this is, this, is, this is a waste of a dollar and much less $79.95. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64 or whatever. <laughs> to all of you listening, <laughs> this just goes to show you how good Best Buy Tech Support is not. Oh, yeah, Geek Squad. If they were geeks, they would know what a Commodore was, and they'd be like, oh, they'd be like, like Laughing their asses off. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, the uh, the combo, I mean, the uh, Microsoft Tech Support, and say Geek Squad said that I could install uh, this and we'll play that back for them, and say, well, uh, I'd like a copy that will run on this. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I guess we don't. Have, I don't. Have, I guess we don't have to call India to talk to fucking morons that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this is hilarious as hell. <laughs> Anyway, put your FTP up if it's not. I want to do something Hi, I'm under Coca Cola. Information or questions about promotions? Press one. My FTP is down. Right now. Press two. Ooh, press killer two. Coke. Killer Coke. Calling the Coca Cola Company. You will understand about to defend the company. Coca Cola Company. Please note that any information or questions are available online at www.coca-cola.com. www.coca-cola.com. Our regular office hours are Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it, y'all. I got the ultimate one. Let's call um the the uh, the Jahazira thing. The um the uh, uh what is it? The Pakistani television station. And, and one of y'all impersonate Bin Laden. Yeah, a little long distance.
Don't stink. What? Long distance. Long distance issues. It's a one eight hundred number. If I can find it. If, I, if it's got a one eight hundred number. Hmm. Hello. I am Osama bin Laden. I am calling up to see if any of you would like to work for the Taliban. Hey, Time Warrior. We have very good benefits here at Al Qaeda. Coca Cola dot org does not work. Killercoke dot org. <laughs> yes, we just called me again. Time for another cigarette. <laughs> oh, uh, this is fucking great. And talk to you guys while on the phone while smoking a cigarette again after making numerous <laughs> great calls. <laughs> but here in Austin, we don't do things like that. We get right down to business. We don't make crank calls. We make calls that make you laugh. Calls that are pleasurable. Yeah, what we do. We, we make calls that we man. make calls that prove the corporations are assholes that don't know what they're doing. Social disobedience. <laughs> Uh, Eli, I think we should make that a uh, topic on the round table. What, Just on what she it? said, that you can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64. Let's make that a topic on your show, man. You don't want to show? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think we discussed that. But right now, before we make any more phone calls, then I said we call the AOL guy back and say that your Commodore 64 won't install AOL 95 <laughs> uh, AOL 9.0. Well, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Nature's calling me and won't go to voicemail, so I'll be right back. That's no fun. Shit, I can do that while on the phone. While I'm talking to you guys. That's TMI, T-Man. What's your local newspaper, man? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I say we officially call him up and tell them that um, uh, their computers are all, um, that we can we installed uh, Windows 95 on it, uh, Commodore. <laughs> Although it can't be a Commodore 64. How about a Commodore, uh, how about an Amiga? How about an, a Commodore Amiga? Nah. You guys heard of those? Uh. Yeah, I know what it is. How about, how about... What's your local newspaper? How about we call Computer House Emergency Tech Support Computer House Technology Center. It's a 1-800 number in Galloway, New Jersey. All right. Can I do it on the phone? Uh, let me try here. Yeah? You going to do it, Slasher? No, you are. No, I am. I am. What are we installing this time? If I can. Okay, give me the number. I can call right from my cell phone. Okay, 1-800-372... Uh, one second, let me run over to my dad's van and write it on the window. Alright, uh, 1-800-372-6834. Yeah. Are they 24? Yeah, yeah, 24. Are they 24 hours? Yes, yes. Alright, who's taking it? Eli, and he's got Windows 95. Alright, Eli, this is all you. Why not me? Because uh, I can't keep a straight face. I'll start laughing. All right. What am I installing? You've installed Windows 95 onto your Commodore 64, and now it's giving you uh, an error when you try to uh, install uh, Win uh, AOL. <laughs> All right. Guys? Yes. Yeah, we're still here. And uh, order products 24 hours a day. You can also reach us via email at support at computerhouse.com. If you'd like to leave a message, please press 9. After recording, you can hang up. The call is being transferred to the receptionist. You want me to do this? I I can do this. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Trace calling. Please leave your message at the tone. Hello. Um, I bought a com <laughs> computer from you. My name is John, and the reason I'm calling is someone at Duke Geek or something like that told me that I could install um, Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, and I'm hoping you guys can give me the support to do this. Um, can you give me a phone call at the one six zero seven four two two nine seven three two? Yeah, like I said, my name is. John, and I'm trying to install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, so can you please help me as soon as possible? I need to get online. One of my girlfriends won't talk to me, and that's the only way I can talk to her, and that's the only computer I have, so please give me a call, click. Huh? <laughs> No, that's government. So, it's the governor. Yeah, we heard that. Hello? We can barely hear you, team. Right, we need somebody else to call. Barely hear me? How about now? Yeah, now now we can. That's much better. I had, I had to adjust the mic. I have 1-800 numbers for government. You don't want to call government? Ooh, rabies information. Rape victim, rape victim assistant. Assistant. Rest home complaints. Revenue department. Rural health. Where's your cable companies out there, guys? Call up a cable company. 1-800 Comcast. Oh, <laughs> What we're saying and who's doing it. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time. Thank you for calling Comcast. Please listen carefully okay, as our menu options have changed. If you are calling from your home phone, if not, press 2. We are. 
Comcast customer. If not, press 2. We are. Please enter the yeah, five digit zip code. Location you currently have service. Location you want service. What's your zip code? 38804. Thank you. For quality and training purposes, your call may be monitored or recorded. I know. I actually have a... Please wait. We're calling Comcast. If you are calling from Northeast Mississippi, press 1. Press 1. Gasden, press 2. Huntsville, press 3. If you are currently a Comcast customer, press 1. Press 1. If not, please press... Trouble with your service, press 1. For billing inquiries, press 2. Press 2. To add or upgrade service, press 3. Cable television, press 1. For high-speed internet, press 2. Press 2. To return to the previous menu, press the... Please hold while I transfer you. Thank you for calling Comcast. Our office is now closed. Our normal business hours are 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. If you're experiencing problems with your cable service, please hold for our answering service. Holding, holding. Comcast, may I help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was speaking to a representative online the other day, and she told me that uh, you all offered... Um, um, oh, what do they call that? Uh, a, a business service or something of this nature? Man. I got one. I got one. It's a 1 800 number. Oh my god, what a bitch. I, yeah, because I was going to ask for a legit. I got one. I couldn't think. Dude, couldn't think. guys, guys, call back, yeah. call back Geek yeah. Squad. Try to get someone else and say um, that some lady there <laughs> said that you can install Windows 95 on a. Commodore 64 and that you uh, called Microsoft as per her suggestion and they said no way in hell and see what they have to say. Okay. Well, I got one. It's uh, it's Roto Rooter. Oh, here we go. Uh, what what it, what's that? Uh, what's that song? Um, that song it has a phone number in it. Eight six seven five three zero nine nine eight six seven five three zero nine nine. Answer for Jim from Ian Heating. Uh, yes. Um, is this eight six seven five three zero nine? <laughs> God. What the fuck is it, guys? We keep getting hung up on. Hey, two men, do, do this. One eight hundred. Two men, two men, two men. No, hold, stop it. No, no, two men. Call that bitch back, and I'll start singing. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Uh, no, let's hang on. Um, might have a number for us. Call. Let's call Roto Rooter and say our toilet stopped up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's just like this what, shit what, what, pouring out everywhere, man. It's disgusting. What's the number, Eli? One eight hundred. Four three eight seven six eight six. Thank you for selecting Rotor Rooter Services Company. Calls may be recorded for quality. Yeah, for time to be cleaning it up in the background and like act as so be away from the mic a little. Existing order, press two. For administrative and all other calls, press three. Thank you. Calling Rotor Rooter, Janine Brown speaking. I'm gonna help you. Oh my God! Yeah, oh, um, oh, 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 Mike, oh, we we having a we having a big problem here. This this toilet's just stopped up, and there's just oh my God everywhere. Just all all these VCs. Oh my God, it's horrible. I, I I don't know what to do. I'm not a plumber. My cat was on the toilet. It, I Hello? just I don't know Hello? what to do. I'm. Uh, you, can you hear me? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? He's gone. He's gone. I guess the can she couldn't hear us. I I don't think the connection was seven yeah. right. That's the reason they're disconnecting because they can't hear us speaking. You guys are blasted. So we'll we'll do it when you get back inside, man. I am inside. I'm calling direct phone. Oh well, they're not hearing us. Yes, yeah, she right, couldn't well, hear me. All right, so totally deaf. Can I try again? Yep, sure. <laughs> Who's going it? Near you. Thank you for selecting Rotor Rooter Serving Rotor Rooter. Blaster, be in the background pretending to get pissed off cleaning it up. So away from the mic. I'll do that, I'll do that. Yeah, go ahead okay. and do that. Yeah, what's your name going to be? Fuck, and I'll holler at you. What? Oh, okay, hang on. What's the number? What's the number? Get Rotor. What? What are you writing here that? Eli, Steve. I'm looking back up. Hang on. I'm looking back up. I'm looking back up. Hang on. All right, then tell us that. <laughs> I'll pretend to be cleaning it up in the background, real pissed off. It's not Rotor Rooter. Oh, it's not there. Thank you for calling Viking Bending and NASCO Parts. If you know your party's extension, you may dial at any time. Go for a directory by first name. Press 3 for music and game sales. Press 4 for the transferring call. Oh, here we go. I got one for us. <laughs> Yay! Hey there, you got 
Sydney. Oh my God, Liz. I'm busy doing something or another. So if you leave when you get one, don't forget to include your phone number or else you won't get one. Leave a voice message, press 1, or just wait for the tone. Send a numeric page. Alright, we'll try that one again. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm trying to reach my granddaughter. You're trying to reach who? I'm trying to reach my granddaughter. You please excuse me. I'm I'm a bit elderly. My, my mind don't ain't working like, like, like it used two years ago. Well, unless your granddaughter's passed away, I don't think she can. You don't reach your funeral home. So we still, we still, we still, we still, I have. I reached fear. Oh my God! I'm feeling like an idiot right now. I must have done that the wrong number. Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Hello? I yeah, didn't just get hung up on you. Oh, what a bitch. I'd say we call that one back. Oh God! Did I miss something? <laughs> okay, okay, you were away. One eight hundred. Are you calling it back? I'm calling it back. Hello, Redneck Funeral Home. You kill him, we kill him. Uh, hi, um, why'd you hang up on me? I'm looking for my granddaughter. That's kind of rude. I, I'm an old man. I think I deserve respect. I done lived a lot of years, done a lot of good, good work like every other citizen in this country. Hung up again. Oh, what a bitch. I was in two <laughs> world wars. I got Rotor Rooter. I got Rotor Rooter. You got Rotor Rooter. Give me the number. 1-800. <laughs> Four three eight seven six eight six. Now for the shit mess. <laughs> All right, I'll be in the background. What's your name? And I'll holler it out. Name and I'll holler it out. Murder Murder Services Company with Company B. I'm Mark Austin. Quality Assurance. To place a new service order, press one now. Thanks for calling Murder Murder. This is Ian. How can I help you? Hello, hi, hi. There. Hello. Uh, my, my name is. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What the uh, fuck? Could she hear us? They heard us on the last call. You know what I think it is? Um, talk oh, right now, Time Warrior. Yeah, see, that's the problem. See, that's the problem. I can hear, I, I can hear, I can hear myself through your microphone. Hmm. That's Could she hear me at all? Yeah, oh, I'm she can hear you and then she hung up. All right, only Eli. Well, I mean, Eli. I can do it as long as it's not right. All right, give me the number again, Eli. 1-800-438-7686. You were on the toilet, and your cat come up there and flushed the toilet while you were taking a dump, and water just went everywhere. And no, water no, just no, went no, no, everywhere. Company calls um. me to be recorded for quality assurance. Yeah, you're my two, bitch. Thank you for calling Rotor Rooter. Just to me, how may I help you? Yeah, I'm going to be a I'm in front of the call, like something, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Cat hung up on us again, cause you fucking idiot. Can't fucking work. Oh my god. Her. Call her back and CW, be back. quiet. Yeah, call her back I'm one more time. One back. more time. I'm not calling One more back. time. Why not? Man, that would be so funny. Call 986 again. They're a plumbing company. Alright, that'll work. Everyone be quiet. You're fine, I'll be in the background then. Answer for Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you plumbing? Hello? Are you plumbing? Do you do plumbing work? What the? I don't think the connection's right. All right, I'm about to wire up a new fucking phone here. All right, what do I need to do to wire a phone? It's complicated. It's much more complicated than what you're doing. Fuck! All right, won't do that then. Pop the casing off of the damn thing. Pop the casing off of the damn thing. Of your receiver part, you know, with the dial pad and or, or your your. Did you hold to your face? Did you get your face? All right, let's try that funeral home again. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, but we're just echoing right now, though. We're echoing like crazy. This ain't gonna work. Oh, I know you are. Hang on. There you go. Uh, where'd my headphones go so I can hear what's going on? All right. Are we gonna try redneck funeral home? Yeah, that redneck funeral home again. All right. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, sure. Apologize for your crazy old grandfather calling up and explaining he's going senile. Hey, his daughter's been dead for two years. Alright. Hey there, got me. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> so that one 
down again. There's going to be a lot of dead time in this. Hopefully, you take my suggestion. Hey there, you got me. Hello? I think there's a voice now. She's avoiding us. Hello? 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 Uh, Alright, uh, let's find some place else then. You know what I think? I think it's 1.30 a.m. in the morning, CSE, and we need to call it a night for this. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's pick out a phone book and call somebody's house, man. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta get to sleep at some point, man. Let's call tonight. There's plenty plenty more days left in the year, you know? Shit. Alright, one I wanna chat with you I wanna chat with you guys a little bit before I go to bed, but at this rate I'm just gonna say fuck it and go to bed. Alright, one more call and then we'll end the show. Alright, I got Pizza Hut. Where are they? Twenty four hours? I got a one eight hundred number. Customer satisfaction. Hey, you know what? Pizza Hut and you want dog meat on your pizza. It's customer satisfaction. Dude, two men can do Chinese. He wants dog meat on his pizza. Dog meat on the pizza. Hang 1 800. On, call, hang on, hang okay, on. I'm trying to call a funeral home back. Oh, God. Turn Star 69 off. Hey, hang on. Awesome. Halloween, we're, we're doing prank phone calls. Grandpa. Halloween, we're doing prank phone calls. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Ma'am, uh, uh, I would like to uh, purchase a casket. Is that, is that possible through you? Do you handle that, or do you just handle the uh, the burial? Sir, do you have any idea what time is it? It's 2.30 yes, in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Sure is. How long uh, has your party been departed? Uh, I'm not departed yet, ma'am. I have six months. Okay, then. Four more hours, five more hours is not going to make a difference. Can you please call me back at during normal business hours? Ma'am, I may not have emergency. five hours. Dying now. Ma'am, I, I may not have five hours. I understand that you, you have problems and, and, you know, but this is a work number and you have a number. This is business. Blah, blah, blah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I would like a casket with the Confederate flag across the top end of it. Can you, can you handle that or do I need to call somewhere else? What size would you like? We have small, medium, large, and extra, extra, extra large. What size would you like? Or would you like to supersize that? Uh, ma'am, this isn't a joking matter. Um, I would not. I would like, hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I, I'm, I'm about seven foot tall. Okay, so then you would need our extra, extra large. And what kind of comfort would you look for? Okay, ma'am, sorry. This is his friend. You're like blah, 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 poking fun, and he's like got six months or left to, to live? I mean, do you not have a heart? What is your problem? Oh, my God. I have never seen someone so cold-hearted running a fu funeral home. Do you enjoy your work that much? First of all, it is 2.32 in the a.m. This is not an emergency call, okay? He is not dying or dead. He has six months yes. to live. To live. Yeah, that's what they say. He could be dead tomorrow. Doctors are not psychic. And you should not advertise a work number like that. This is a work number, last I checked, a funeral home. And, you know, you should have it go directly to voicemail or call forwarding or something if you are being disturbed. It sounds like you're disturbed already without the whole problem. It sounds like you just really don't <laughs> care. So, excuse me, I need to have this number open all night long for those who have departed in the last five, six hours, not for someone who still has six months to live. Well, the you thing know, is, is that he could, he could die tomorrow. He, the doctor said six months at maximum, and they also said that he could die, like, in the next hour, literally. I mean, you know, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe he should take his business elsewhere, because obviously, you know, you don't care. You obviously don't have a heart. He's trying to get this done as expediently as possible, because he doesn't know how long he has. And, you know, I mean, maybe we're calling the wrong place. Maybe we need to call someone who actually cares. Maybe that's what we need to do. But you know what? Um, this is one of his other friends. Um, you do sound pretty hot, though. What are you wearing? First of all, let me say this. When your friend, if your friend dies in an hour from now, call me then. I will be more than glad to handle whatever it is he desires. As it is right now, he's still living and he's still breathing. And this is taking up iPhone, iPhone. From 
Who is dearly departed? Okay, 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 you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, I'll make I'll make a compromise really with you really when you really when you actually when you obtain when you obtain a heart and a soul, we'll do business with you. But until then, we are going to take our business elsewhere because obviously you enjoy your field a little too much. But don't, don't, sweetheart, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Um, like 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 I said, my name is John. Um, actually, actually, my shut my up, first John. Get off the phone. This is none of your business. John. My, my first name's really Danny, and last name's Russo, and um, you sound really, really hot. Can, can I, like, get your personal number? Hey, I don't want your number. I don't even want to do business with this person. Do you want to date a cold-hearted bitch? I mean, she don't she don't care that this guy, that, you know, could die in an hour. All she cares is about herself okay. and that okay. bitch. Okay. Well, That's you know, all she cares really about is herself. Herself. Her facetious and condescending herself. She enjoys her business too much. You get your jollies off this or something? You get your jollies off this or something? You, 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 you know, what if, what if you had six months to live or less, you know? Would you like to be treated like this? What the hell is your problem? If you were in his spot, would you like being treated like this? Would you like it? Tell me. Would you like it? I think the cunt hung up on us. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Oh, she got well, mad, this is another good call. Yeah, mark that one as uh, another good call. That, that's an officially calling a mortuary. On Halloween, officially calling a mortuary and being denied service. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, that's great. I'm just like, you, right. you must enjoy All your right. job too much. Do you get your tits out of this? Oh, my God. You did I, did I legitimately so sound pissed right? off? No, I don't. Yes, you legitimately sounded pissed off. Yeah, man, you was, like, in there, man. If I had not to come in and was asking, you know, how she sounded hot and crap, she'd have been like, oh, man. Yeah, but I, I was, but that was perfect, though. I'm like, well, why do you want this girl's number? Would you want to date a girl like this? She don't even give a shit that this guy's, like, about to die. What the hell? Oh, my God, that was fun. You guys got to give us credit on that one. That one was good. The three of you did great. <laughs> I, I, well, we we all right deserve a pat on the back for that one. We all deserve a pat on the back for this one. I think this is the only call where I think this is the only call where all four of us took part in it. I did not say a word. That was that, uh, that but that was still funny. Yeah, but I mean, oh my God, it's just like I'm like John, dude, you know, shut up. What the hell are you talking about? You know, this is just, I, I'm like just telling you, I'm just like acting pissed. Oh guys, I say we call her back one more time and tell him he just died. Slasher, you can get into this. Yeah. You, it, oh, Slasher could be like, you know what? Your timing is perfect, you dumb cunt, because he just died. All right, let's try it back. Yeah, but we're not going to use your service, you dumb bitch. The kid gave straight back. Yeah, Hello? Hello? Um, yes, um, we just called a few minutes ago. Hello? Yes? Yes, yeah, we, we just called a few minutes ago, and, um, you, you were bitching about our friend not being dead, and... Cunt, he just died! Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um... How can I help you? I, I, I'm a little choked up right now. Well, hopefully... I understand. It's a tough time. Yeah, I, I'm hoping some of my friends might be able to help. Hoping they can help me out and talk for me, you know what I mean? Because this, 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 this is killing me here. I understand. It's a tough time. Time. It's a tough time. I'll do whatever I can to help you through this. We were trying to get him off the couch. Hey, are you there? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> are you are you happy now, you dumb fucking bitch? He's fucking dead. You were total fucking bitch to him and that oh my god I can't talk anymore. I just want him off my couch. First thing you need you need to relax and you need to talk to me concerning your friend. <laughs> you were rude to him in his last hours. You fucking I don't even know why John calls you back. What is it you would like to do for your friend? Raise him from the dead? I think it would be appropriate to bury you with him, you heartless <laughs> I know those words are only coming out of anger, and you are so upset about your friend. That's okay. Go ahead and let it out. I understand. We're, we're, we're so choked up about it. <laughs> now I do. <laughs> we, we can't even talk with Crunk Ryan over here. Hello? 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 I want him off my couch. Hello? Oh, heartless bitch, she hung up on us. Hold on, uh, uh, listen, listen, tune man, tune man, tune man. Um, call her, call her back one more quick time. I just want to say, oh, and uh, just to let you know, everybody is going to know what a heartless service you run on our internet radio station. These calls have been recorded and are going to be broadcasted on the air. On the no, radio no, no, no.
Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do it. Do it. No, I won't say elsewhere. I'll just say an internet radio station on shoutcast.com. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I just thought I'd let you know that this has been a series of Halloween prank calls which are going to be aired on the internet radio station on shoutcast.com and everybody will know what a heartless service you run and your career is what's going to die because no one's going to give you business. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for being on the air with us and hang up on this cunt. All right, guys, that's done. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Oh, I really am dying. I'm being really? irony witness. No, no. Well, well apparently... Uh, yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Eli's dying, all right. Dying of laughter. Dang it. All right, guys. This is going to conclude the first episode of T-Man's Crank Calls. You know what? Why don't we yeah. call that Pointless Audio? Pointless you know what? Audio. Dude, that's dude, all this is going to be. Dude, dude, dude. We, we got the last laugh because now this time you hung up on her. That's true. I did. I was like, hung right, up on this call. Right, that's the official name of the show. It's going to be called Pointless Audio, gentlemen. You've just said in the first show of Pointless Audio. It's going to air at least once a week. Um, the host team in with the phone line. And the second is uh, Eli, is Slasher, and Time Warrior. You've been listening to Pointless Audio. Howdy! Hi, I'm Spike. And you know, when I'm driving down Route 9W on a hot summer day, me and the missus always stop at Dickens. Dickens Fruit Stand. They've got everything from fruit to vegetables, homemade pies, but there is nothing like their cider. Ain't that right, honey? Uh-huh. Dick Cider. Yes, sir. Why, even though we were late for church last Sunday, she had to have a little Dick Cider. Uh-huh. She says there ain't nothing like it. Even my minister says his wife enjoys a little Dick and Cider now and then. Hey, why don't you bring some home in our protective plastic rib bottle? That way it'll stay fresh. Or you can let it sit a while and have some hard Dick and Cider. <laughs> it's good at lunch, good at dinner, and there's nothing like waking up with a Dick and Cider. Dickens Fruit Stain, just off Route 9W and Country Road 69. Open 24 hours, because after a chilly summer night, I like to snuggle up in bed with a hot dick inside. Poisonite is a gem that fell to earth in a meteor millions of years ago. But just because something is old does not mean it is worthless or obsolete. This gem came from space, and the internet as we know it came from cyberspace. The first bulletin board system was created in 1978 by Ward Christensen, and evolved into the public medium that we know and love today. However, BBS is maybe an old concept, and today not very well known. But just like Moisenite, still shines bright and has stood the test of time. Diamonds are more popular than Moisenite, just as the World Wide Web is more popular than a Telnet BBS. 
However, what people do not know is that both still surpass the quality and reliability of what the masses consider to be a standard. Sometimes newer is not necessarily better. So open your mind, expand your horizons, and tell that to a BBS today. Joseph's Jewelers Online.com is a proud supporter of the BBS scene, and we encourage you to put aside your mouse for a while and not be afraid of a command line interface. Your online adventure does not end on the web, so check out what you've been missing.